sometimes life can take unexpected turns. No one could have ever guessed that Fred, Jose and Gilberto, three people with completely different backgrounds, would leave on an exciting journey together one day. Fred van der Malera is the CEO of J. Cortez, a Belgian company that specializes in machine-made cigars. He is as Belgian as Belgian fries, Belgian biscuits and tomato sauce with balacus. Jose, on the other hand, is American. He descends from a Cuban family, but is born in the land of the free. Today, he's a manager at Oliva, well known for its handmade cigars and located in the state of Florida. Until recently, nearly four and a half thousand miles separated Fred and Jose. But sometimes, the distance between two people is a lot smaller than it appears. When Fred and Jose met in 2012, they immediately felt there was a strong connection. Both families have tobacco running through their veins for many generations. The Van der Maliras have been in the tobacco business since 1926, when Moritz van der Malera started manufacturing cigars. Moritz originally worked as a sexton, but bringing people genuine smoking pleasure proved a rather good career move. As the company kept growing, the family opened new factories in Belgium and Sri Lanka. Fred, the third generation, became CEO in 2010. His father Guido is never far away though, always happy to give some good advice. The Oliva family has been in the tobacco business since 1866, when Milano Oliva started growing tobacco in Cuba. In 1966, his son Gilberto Sr. left Cuba and traveled from country to country in search of the distinct Cuban taste. Finally, he found this in Nicaragua. In 1995, the Oliva Cigar Company was founded in Miami with tobacco growing and cigar making plants in Nicaragua. What clearly unites the Van der Malera and the Oliva companies are strong family ties and the way both run their businesses with passion, craftsmanship and modesty. But what makes it so interesting for a Belgian company to take over this American Nicaraguan company? And what will be the benefit for Oliva? In 1926, my grandfather started making cigars in Belgium. And that now, exactly 90 years later, we can start a new endeavor with the Oliva family, who has such a heritage and knowledge of handmade cigars, is a real dream come true for our family. The thing that we're most excited about is the ability to have two families uh, that both have a long history in tobacco and bring that passion together to move our company forward and use the expertise of their company. When a company is taken over by another one, the big question always is, what will change now, especially for the Oliva company? Well, to put it briefly, nothing. Alberto will still be rubbing his hands before he starts cutting. Amanda will still be winking at Martina while she's rolling. And Rodrigo? will still be overlooking the plantation in the evening. J. Cortez and Oliva. A story of two families united by passion.